Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to work on Git branches. So what we are going to do is we are going to clone a project from GitHub to our local, and we are going to create a new branch, and we are going to modify some file and how to push or commit the changes that you have done on your local to a remote branch. So that is what we are going to see, and we are also going to see some basic commands on how to delete the branch and how can you raise a pull request to merge your branch with master so that's what we're going to see in this video so let's begin so now I am on the path D git tutorial and I want to clone the project in this path so that's why I navigated my control to this path so to clone the project you have to go to the github link on you have to be on the particular project and here you can see an option clone or download so when you click on this you can see option to copy the link so click on this link or alternatively you can download the zip and and zip and put it on your file but this is most recommended so now go to this command prompt and use a command git clone so to clone a project from github to a local you have to use a command git space clone space the url so now if you go and see here you can see a new folder is created and inside the folder first the dot git command will be created and your source code will be downloaded here so this is my source code and this is my dot git file so now if you go and check the status of git to check the status you have to use git space status command it's showing that not a git repository which is I'm not in the git repository because my dot git folder is present inside the folder broker bin so what I have to do is I need to change my control to this broker bin folder and if I use a command git status I can see the git status so it says that on a branch master your branch is up to date with original master nothing to commit working tree clean so which means what are the files and what are the source code which is present on my local is completely matches with a remote master file so that is what it's saying so now what we are going to do is we are going to create a branch and we are going to modify or we are going to do some changes to this source code and we are going to commit so Basically, if you're working on a project, there will be a master branch and all the people will work on their branch. And finally, they will merge or they will rise up PR or pull request. So using a pull request, they will merge their code with master. So that's how the thing work in GitHub. So let me explain how it work exactly. So your file has to go through three phase when you're creating a branch on local so first one is uh, your local and staging and remote so when you create a branch it will be in the local and you have to commit your changes then this project that whatever the changes you have done will move from your local to staging and from staging you have to push your branch to the remote repository so that the source code will be pushed to remote so local is this one and remote is your github and staging is just assume that it's an intermediate between your local and remote so basically when you say master so this contain a stable version of your source code so just assume that it's a master and there are many number of people who work on your team or on your project let's say one two three four five so each people will work on their branch once they are done with the work they will rise a pull request and they will merge their source code with master so he will do a source code yeah, he will write a pull request and merge the source code and this is how the thing works high level on github so let's go and create 
a branch on your local so to create a branch you have to use a command git checkout hyphen b followed by your branch name let's name this branch as branch one so now you can see that i switch to a new branch it switched the control to new branch branch one so if i check the git status it shows that I am on the branch 1. If I use a command git branch, it will tell me which I am currently on. So now I am on the branch branch 1 and there are two branch in the local branch 1 and most of. Now the control is in the branch 1. So what are the files that you are seeing here is a branch 1 file. It make a copy from master and put it on your branch. So what are the changes that you are doing here on the source code will affect only this branch one. It, it won't affect the master branch and the master branch will be stable. So let's say I am going to add a new file. So let's say this file as an empty text file branch one or normally you will do a source code change which means you will modify your python file or you're going to add a new class or you're going to add a new function that's how the thing work in real time but just for the tutorial purpose i'm going to add a new file branch1.txt to this uh, branch1 so if we go and check the git status here you can see that it shows that there is an untracked file broke up bin slash branch one dot text so i can use git add to add this file so if i use a git add followed by the file name with the path it's branch one dot txt so now if you see it get added to the git so if you check the git status so here you can see that changes to be committed use git reset head to unstage change so and on branch one it, it sees that it get added to the staging so what i can do is i can use a git commit hyphen m followed by a message let's say that as first commit so to commit a change so when you use a command git add this one broker bin slash branch one dot text it will add the branch one dot txt to the staging and when you use git commit hyphen m and you have to give a meaningful message so what are the changes you have done you can just return it on a high level so that uh, the person who look into a branch will have a clear understanding on what changes you have done so when you use a git commit so now this files get committed and it will be in the staging it is not moved to remote yet so to move this file to a remote you have to use a command git push so this git push will work if you have the same branch branch one on your remote as well but unfortunately i haven't created a branch one in my remote repository so let's enter this one git push and it will show you to push the current branch and set the remote as an upstream use the below command so what we have to do is we have to use this command so what this command will do means it will push your branch from local and it will create a branch on the remote and it will copy the local branch to the remote branch so that is what this one is basically do. if you don't remember you can use a git push it will show an error you can just copy and put that on this broker bin folder so now it will take few seconds to update so here you can see that branch branch one set up to track remote branch branch one from origin so now if you go here so if it just do a drop down i can see only one branch but if i reload here and if i can check i can see the branch one so if you go to branch one and here you can see the file which i have added this branch one dot text but you cannot see that in master
okay so now what I want to do is I want to delete this branch in order to delete this branch you have to use a git branch hyphen D but before using the git branch you should not be on the branch which you are deleting so you should change your control from the current branch to any other branch so let's say first we will check where we are now so we will be on the branch one so what I have to do is I have to change my control to a master so I have to use a git checkout master if I check the branch status now I will be on the master now I can use a command git branch to delete the branch hyphen D followed by a branch name so now this branch is completely deleted now the files you are seeing is a master file but it is not yet deleted on the remote so still you can see branch one so delete the branch on remote you have to use a command git push origin hyphen d branch name so this command will delete your branch on remote so if we go and reload you can see that 404 because that branch is not exist so here you can only see a master so now let's go ahead and create a new branch and we will see how to arise a pull request so I'm going to create a new branch so you can use a command git checkout hyphen b let's name this as branch 2 so here you can see that the control is switched to branch 2 so what are the files that you're seeing here is on the branch 2 the master is copied to branch 2 let's make some changes let me add a text file called branch 2 and if I check the status it will show the untracked file so you can use a git add broker bin slash branch 2.txt so it will be added to the git and you can commit to the staging so git commit hyphen m let's name this as first commit that we're doing from branch 2 so now the file will be on the staging so you have to use a git push and you can just simply copy this one to create a new branch on your remote and push the change so now your new branch is pushed to the remote git up so if you just reload that you can see the notification so what you have to do is you have to click on this compare and pull request so it's it's showing the conflict but in a real-time project we show a lot of uh, conflict you have to resolve those conflict if there isn't any conflict and you have to leave a comment what changes you have done let's say I have added text file and you have to create a pull request so now it will check for ability and it will if there isn't any conflict it will ask you to resolve the conflict and if there is a no conflict it will just show a green signal so now you just click on the merge pull request and click on the confirm match so now your branch is merged to master so if you go here and see the master file you can see the branch two dot text in the master file which means the changes that you have done on the branch 2 is updated on the master so this is all about some basic concepts on git branches if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye